fishery system, whether you're fishing the river itself or the mouth, there's always going to be predatory fish roaming those areas, you know, looking to ambush small bait fish. So you can find anything from a shad uh, to small kingies, even pecan or barracuda as well. Okay, so I started off with the Berkeley Power Bait Minnow, very, very natural bait, uh, especially in the clean water, and uh, just throwing that around the mouth area to see, to see what fish we can find. It's something you can work very fast and very shallow water. There was a bit of a drop off, but there was a bank as well where those fish would come onto to feed. Uh, so, threw that around with a very fast retrieve and we got a couple of bites. chasing in the shallows, got the drop shot in there and went on. So basically all I'm doing is I'm throwing the jerkman out there, letting it sink and then just work it back and fast as fast as I can back to me. Okay, so I just took the bigger size uh, kingy, or better size kingy. Uh, cool. a good go, yeah. There's a nice little kingy on the uh, three inch jerk minnow. on the jerk for now. Missed it the first time, but it came back. <laughs> so with the shad, uh, using a very soft bait, they do tend to rip it apart quite easily. Uh, so I opted to go for a harder bait when the shoal moved in, which is the Berkeley Spar Bait. As you can see, uh, it's got a propeller at the front there and at the back that spin in the water. It is designed for bass, you throw it out and you wind it back very slowly. Uh, but the way I found out it worked uh, that day, throw it out there and work it very fast back towards you and that seemed to get the bite. That's probably the smallest shad I've ever seen in my life. I mean... How does that make sense? <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> So 
So when we got to the mouth area, we, we saw a, a, a shoal of shad, but they were very, very small. Despite them eating the lure, uh, definitely some of the smaller shad I've seen uh, eating lures, uh, but it was still fun nonetheless in the ultralight tackle. So with Shad, why well, I opted for this lure is uh, because they attack from the back. They, you know, I, th I think the propeller at the back uh, would have helped in that situation, and also with the hook at the back. Uh, if they do do come from the back, uh, even with the false retrieve, you'll, you'll still look them. Okay, so we were catching a few fish in the, in the mouth area, but you sort of moved away from that into the river. The water was pushing nicely into it, uh, just looking for a bit bigger fish. And then the first throw with the Berkeley spar bait uh, had a very good bite, and then unfortunately I got bitten off. So after I got bitten off on the spar bait, I went to a quarter ounce Berkeley Fusion Bucktail. Uh, Bucktails over the years have proven to be very deadly in estuary systems and in the ocean as well. So this was my first choice after that. Um, sort of just throwing it out there and working it fast as well back towards me. So, persisting with a bucktail, uh, finally got one to stick. Seems like a shad, so. Uh. Okay, so finally <laughs> we managed to find a, a better size shed on the bucktail. See if we can find a bigger one. I opted for the Berkeley bucktail. So the, the weight's all in one, one area there, so you can throw it nice and far. Um, I was working it very fast back towards me. And the nice thing about a bucktail, it's very natural as well and you can catch a variety of species on it. Okay, so the reason why you don't really put uh, piano wire or, or any form of, of steel wire in the front of your bait with the ultralight fishing because you want, still want it to be as natural as possible. You're not targeting very big fish. So when you do get that big bite and, and you do, do land it, it's more of a blessing. <laughs> Okay, so the shad are absolutely gale falls in the mouth here, jumping all over the show. And uh, one got interested in the bucktail.
almost close to size. So even though we didn't get the big shad we were after, still had a lot of fun catching smaller fish uh, on the ultralight tackle and I'll definitely be going back with some different lures, new techniques to try and find that bigger shad.